Welcome to Kingdom Faith International Christian Center, where we are providing knowledge to build people with the heart for God. Please join us as we study God's Word today. Says, so we can get a response of the things that I need here in life, not when I go to heaven, but right now, because now it's tied to the faith and the promises of God. And he already told us how you're going to receive it. You have to learn how faith works in you and how it works in you. You have to speak. Somebody said you're going to have to speak God's word. Now, listen to what Jesus said. He says, listen, he said, have faith in God. Right. Next verse is verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say faith is tied to what you say. Come on now. And the enemy know that. He know that it all works in you. So if you keep saying what you feel, I don't feel good today. I don't feel good today. You just license yourself not to feel good today. Come on now. Are you, are you hearing me? If you just say, you know what, I'm going to always be on that. Yes, you're going to always be on that job because that's what you keep what saying because the law that works and moves things is your voice, what you say. And if, you, if it works in the positive, and we know it does through God and through the word of God, it works also to the negative because what? There's a law. It doesn't change. It has you use the law whether it's going to benefit you or not. And when we speak what God said, become intelligent enough, break the religious spirit off of us and say, I'm in school now to learn how to use this currency that God gave me. And the currency is how to speak what God says I need to speak so I can get the things that God said I can receive because it comes by faith and obedience to his word. So I can't let the, the sweet water to come out of my mouth and then polluted water to come out of my mouth. I need to train myself to talk like God says I need to talk so I can get the response I need to receive because when I speak I'm licensing something in the spirit to work on my behalf because something has to obey my words praise God and you need to hear that today because the enemy knows you keep speaking out of yourself you gonna keep having what self's going to give you but when you speak out of the authority and the word of God that the Bible even said and we just sung about that you know those that what are bound or what I'm free now you you're gonna be listen you're gonna speak you free before you feel the freedom come any, you go, you're going to feel rich before the money come to your house. Come on. You, 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 you're going to know you're coming off the job before you even get a, uh, another job. It comes first by God because that's faith. Faith is the substance of things hopeful and the evidence not seen. I don't see it as of yet. Glory to God. Because I spoke it, my God. I can see it in the spirit. That thing is coming my way in the name of Jesus. I'm not governed by what I see or how it's happening. I'm governed by the law of God's word. Jesus said here, have faith in God. Put your faith in his promise. Move that religious spirit off of you and go to school. Pick up the Bible. Find out what the law of God says concerning your situation. Believe God beyond what all you see, what you think and what you feel. You know what? And I still believe, praise God. And the Bible says, say, you got to talk to your mouth. Touch your name and say, you've been too quiet. You got to talk to your problems. You got to talk to your mountain. In other words, you got, that's what faith is. He said, have faith in God. Then he said, you shall say that whoso shall say unto this what? Mountain. Listen, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith, and then say that you said it, you just kept saying it over and over and over and over and over and over till you got tired. Why do we mutter the word over and over again? Because God wants you to believe it beyond anything else. It ain't that you're saying it because God's deaf. He don't understand what you're saying. You're saying to build your own faith, to believe it. You know, you're building your own faith because stuff is hitting you all the time to let you know in the, in the natural that it's not going to happen. Praise God. You go to the doctor. They give you an evil report, but yet you believe in God for your healing. Listen, the enemy wants to steal your confession of faith. Touch the neighbor said, you have to learn to speak faith. I'm talking right up here today. Faith is what you say. You can't say, I believe God for a job next minute. Well, I don't know if he's going to bless me or not. What, that, that shows what unbelief. That means you really don't trust God. Something's not maturing you yet. That's why we got to keep saying it over and over again. You're looking at somebody that's rich. Now, somebody said, well, where are all your money at? I said, it's in God. They said, well, you ain't got it yet. Yeah, I said, it's in transition. That means it's moving. It's moving. The moving. You know, you know, I, every morning I wake up, I tell myself, money, come to me in Jesus' name. Now some religious said, you know what, God, why you say that? Listen, you stay there. I'm going to get yours too. Money, come to me in Jesus' name. Because if the law of my spirit tied to God's word is how we receive, 
beyond the evidence that we have, then I need to practice my faith. Keep speaking what God says. Before my sons got saved, I declared when they were little, they're going to be saved in Jesus. I declared it over them before they even registered in them. Are y'all hearing me? Praise God. Not only do I have one house, but I've been, we've got multiple houses. Why? Because I've been learning how to use my faith. Amen. Listen, it's according, let's take neighbors and say, it's according to your faith. Because you've got to realize the enemy knows that this works when you use your mouth properly according to his word. It's just that simple. And some of you say, well, I don't believe that's simple. Let me give you some more scripture. Turn to uh, Matthew chapter number nine. Are y'all learning anything? Matthew 9. I woke up this morning. Every morning I get up. I, it ain't for God, it's for me. I wake up every morning. I tell that devil, I said, you defeated. So all the plans that you tried to... The, remember Wednesday night? I was telling y'all on Wednesday night. I kept having this song in my mind. The song was, you know what? Whatever the enemy has planned for me, turn it around. Because I know before... Listen, I know... If you don't know it, you should know it. Every time before I leave my house, he's already devised a plan for me. He wants to take my joy, my peace, my God confidence. Every time he takes something, he replaces with something false. If he takes away my God confidence, you know what? What I have in place? Self-confidence. Self-confidence. And when I have self-confidence, you know what? Somebody can take that away from you. Am I talking right? All right, let's go here real quick. Are y'all learning anything? Matthew chapter number nine. 27 through 29. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying, saying, Thou son of God, have mercy on us. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said, listen, and Jesus said unto them, Believe that I'm able to do this? Because first, belief has to happen. They said to him, Yeah, Lord. Then he what? He touched their eyes, saying, what? According to your, according to your, be it unto you. See, they use the currency because the currency said they spoke that they believe. If you believe something, you speak it. Yeah. Whatever you believe, you speak it. Is that all right? They said, we believe. Is that what it says? So Jesus, listen, first of all, they cried out to him in covenant, crying. Then it says, and Jesus said to them, believe that I'm able to do this. And they said what? They said, yeah. They licensed Jesus to move. Then they said, well, I don't know. No, no. They, he said, do you believe I'm able to do this? They said, yeah, Lord. Then what was his response? This is what he says. He said, and then he what, touched their eyes saying what? He touched their eyes saying, this is not just the anointing that's healing you. Come on. He said, he touched their eyes because that religious spirit, we think is all into something other than we contributing to it. We are contributing something to it because our faith is the currency of the kingdom that causes God to line up his will and respond to us. Amen. When I had dollar bills over in Africa, as I said, I put it on the table and they just looked at me all funny like, what is that? But over in the United States and I put it on the counter, they take that money and swoop it up, put it in the cash register, amen, and let me go on with my product. Let me tell you something. When we understand out of covenant, we have the right to ask God for something that's according to his will, that it is his will that I be made whole in Jesus' name. Somebody say in Jesus' name. And it said, said, according to your what? And we went back to Matthew. Jesus said, have faith in God. If you have faith in God, you say to your mountain. And when you say to your mountain, you know, be thou removed and not doubt in thy heart. Because who's going to do the removing of the mountain? Touch the name and say, who's going who to remove the mountain? God removes the mountain. Amen. We don't remove it. God moves it. Come on, somebody, amen again. Somebody say amen. Now, why is this all tied together here? Psalms 103, verse 20. It's my last verse, and then I'm going to stop. Are y'all learning anything? I've been working this thing. Y'all hear me? I've been working it. I've been working it. I'm working it. I'm still working. Because if, if that's, the, if, listen, my God, if it's just that easy, my God, instead of saying something negative all the time, if it's just that easy just to change the conversation and say something positive according to his will, my God. Let me do it. Let me do this. Amen. Pray. Psalms 103. Are y'all ready? Look at 18 verse. And to such as keep his covenant. Somebody say keep his covenant. To those that remember his commandments to do them. Listen. The Lord hath prepared his throne in heavens and his kingdom ruled over all. Then it says bless. Somebody say bless. Bless the Lord ye his what? Angels that excel in strength and, and that do his commandments. Y'all hear that? 
and hearken unto the voice of his word. And this is, bless ye the Lord, all his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, my God. Now, oh my soul, that man, my mind is blessed in Jesus' name. Praise God. Listen, he says here that the angels hearken unto the voice of his the angels, listen, the angels hearken unto the voice of the angels and hearken unto the voice of his the angels hearken unto the voice of his the angels hearken unto the voice of his now if Jesus died rose again we know he's in heaven right now, right? Am I right? How many agree he took his voice with him? Voice is more than sound. It starts with sound first. Then syllables come next. Then a word is spoken. So what I'm saying, if Jesus took his voice to him, who is his voice now? Now, is it true if Patrick wrote me a letter and I'm in Europe, when I read the letter, I'm reading his words. Would you agree? Yeah. Would you agree that that's Patrick's voice, yeah. even though Patrick's not there? Yeah. Do you believe that when I verbally say what he wrote, I'm voicing what he said yeah. and not what I said? Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Jesus went to heaven. He waited on his church to speak from covenant, to speak his voice, and then angels are going to hear what you said through Jesus and see that that thing comes about in your life. So therefore, if we speak out of covenant God's promises, let me back it up again. Because if Patrick tells me that you know what, and he's a man of his word, that he's going to send me a thousand dollars. Come on now. He's not in Europe now. I just got the word of his promise. I ain't seen the check. All I got is his word. But I know that he's a man of promise. I know he can't lie. I'm not going to wait till the money come. I'm going to rejoice when I read it. And so he get ready to send me a thousand dollars. Why? Because he's a man of his word. I'm here to tell you church. God and Jesus are the men of their words. Yes. And he's waiting for us to speak his word. When we speak his word, yes. angels get involved. Yes. I believe the angels are confused. Because we say, I'm healed. And the angel's on his way. And then we'll say, well, I don't know. He stops. He halfway there. But you would think in your mind, well, he's going to turn around and go back to heaven. No, Jesus, stay right there. Because the trials of their faith is more precious than gold. Don't be tried by fire. Let me secure them in their faith to build them up again. To fight against the adversary concerning where you are right now. We need to quit speaking what we see and speaking what he says. If Patrick going to send me a thousand dollars and he's a man of faith, I'm going to say that over and over. I'm going to run out the house. And you know what? Somebody going to give me a thousand. Patrick going to give me a thousand dollars. They said, who is Patrick? <laughs> you know how a man is. He ain't going to give you what you need. You know, but see, you don't know Patrick like I know Patrick. And when you know Jesus like you know you need to know Jesus, you won't lack for anything in this world because you're using your faith. The scripture says, I'm almost done. You ain't got to stay on your feet. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Angels hearken into the void. Jesus has went to heaven and left of his, his word. Even through his apostles, they speaking through his word, through his spirit, and, and angels are waiting on us. Waiting and listening. So I get up in the morning. I said, Lord, I know it's, it's your will. It's your will for me to 
feel great today. It's His will for us. Feel great, have love in our heart, peace. It's His will. Tell somebody to say it's His will. So I'm speaking forth His will. Let me say this. The Bible talked about uh, how the pool of Bethesda, every year, God would send an angel to come down and stir the water. And the first person that got in the water was made hope. News went out through the city and said, Every time that water stirs, if we get in it first, we'll be made whole. So they carried this man that couldn't walk, laid him by the pool. He, he heard the water stirring. Couldn't get there fast enough because he said every time he attempted to get there, somebody got there for him. One day Jesus comes by. I believe Jesus, everything he does, he's on assignment. It's not by happenstance. I believe God knew that this man's heart was he wanted to be, he was so desperate to be healed that he knew if I could get there first. But I love something about this man. Even though others got their blessing, he was never discouraged. He never told him, pick me up from this place. Take me back to where I, because I don't have enough strength to get down there. He believed it. He believed that one day, maybe everybody got healed. He was the only one there. He was going to get it. This is the point I want to bring out. In the spirit realm, they couldn't see. They thought it was a stern of the wall. They thought it was a But there was a need. The neighbor said, your blessings come by angels. There's an angel that came down from heaven carrying healing. Y'all didn't hear that. You know, it wasn't just healing for blind. Any type, he just came down with the power of healing. This angel had so much power of healing. It didn't matter what disease you had because disease is not a part of the covenant. He just stirred the water because what? He knew spiritually they could not see it was him. They thought it was a stirring of the water. But it was an angel in the midst. Could it be that some of the blessings that God wants to bring in our life comes from the result of an angel? And also it comes from the result of us using our faith. Bow your heads with me for a minute while I pray. Thank you for listening to today's message. We hope and pray the word of God has blessed your life richly. If you would like to learn more about our church, please visit us in person at 2703 Northland Plaza in Columbus, Ohio, 43231. If you would like to sow a seed or make a donation, please feel free to mail it at the same location. If you would also like to learn more about our church and hear one of our messages or more encouraging words and cannot visit us in person, please visit one of our social media sites. Our church is on Facebook. You can visit our Kingdom Faith International Christian Center Facebook page. We're also on Twitter. The handle is at Kingdom Faith INT. We are also on Instagram. The handle is Kingdom Faith INT LCC. And lastly, we are also on YouTube. Please type in Kingdom Faith International Christian Center on YouTube.com to see more of our messages that are posted. Again, may God bless you and prosper you in all you do. In Jesus' name, be blessed.